Is this your first home that you've bought or built? No, I bought a house several years ago when I was a, a young soldier. Um, I never actually got to live in it. I was deploying to Kosovo the next day. And whilst I was in Kosovo, I got posted to Germany. We were just always getting posted and moved. Um, it just happens that obviously we found and ended up in Bester and then we decided this is the place that we want to put yeah. our roots down to. Really love it. What are you building your house up? It's, so it's very long, um, it's got a lot of glass. So the plan is the glass at the front, which would be the master suite, yeah. it's got three massive windows, two that open out, so they're floor to ceiling windows yeah, yeah. that overlook the swale. Leah and Craig have commissioned a custom build home which means they've chosen all the parts of it from a catalogue, walls, floor, taps and twinkle, to arrive on a lorry from a factory in Poland. It'll be made of large prefabricated timber panels, which slot together like a popular Swedish bookcase. Each panel is pre-plasterboarded and stuffed full of insulation. There are panels which even have windows and basic plumbing already installed, so the whole building can go up in just a couple of days. Leah and Craig have chosen off-white render for their exterior finish under a red clay tile roof. Inside, they've configured the ground floor as an open plan living area with a majestic void in the middle. At one end will be a modern kitchen and utility room. Beneath the void will be a gym come dining area. And at the other end, a cosy living room which will open out onto a small garden. A factory supplied timber staircase will lead up to a landing which overlooks the void. On one side will be Craig and Leah's master bedroom and bathroom, and on the other will be a bathroom and two guest bedrooms. For a custom built house chosen from a range of options, it's as elegant and sharply finished a home as I've ever seen. What a build system! The walls and floors are lifted directly from the lorries as they arrive, straight into place. And the efficiency is amazing. I reckon each panel's at least two tons. That's why we had to go for a bigger crane, because of the weight. Wow. What's amazing is that it comes ready rendered on the outside. Yeah. Yes. And ready plasterboarded, turned, taped and jointed on the inside. That's presumably a waterproof plasterboard. It yes, it's is all it? waterproof and treated. Great. Stage. The speed is extraordinary too. By lunchtime, they've already got the first floor in. It's surprisingly spacious inside. It must be something of a shock, though, to, because most people are used to seeing the houses evolve, seeing it slowly accrete. This is just bang, it's there. It's a day and a half in, yeah. and I'm upstairs now. Walking on the bridge. And the roof's about to go on this afternoon. I know, yeah, at the end of the day, you'll be thinking, oh, no, it's, it's gone dark. Oh, it's gone dark. <laughs> But these moments are then precious because they are, they're, they're moments to absorb in the process. What a building. It's the sort of home Leah and Craig might have seen a lot of when stationed abroad with the army. The long extruded barn shape, lightly recessed windows and tiled red roof all betray the house's East European roots. Inside, however, it is all generosity. Space, semi-open plan, light, and delight, a total departure from their former cramped military accommodation. What a great space. Very crisp, very clean, good lines, and it's unfussy. And what it means is that then you sort of, the bits that are really crafted, like the, the staircase, sort of sing as a result because they're not cluttered with other stuff. The light this building draws in shows up every junction and detail in it from the white beveled tiles on the wall to the scaffold plank shelves that Craig made himself. Although I can see disadvantages to having windows everywhere. There must be a downside to the lack of private life. I mean, the fact that, you know, you can't really pad around in your underpants everywhere. The beauty is that we can be as open as we want and because we've got the shutters and the, the windows, we can just pull them down and shut off the world. It's a late so evening, geez. we put the main shutters down. Okay. Oh, can we see that then? Yeah. It's very quiet. It is. And it's got ventilation gaps. In this. You, can, you can open a door then in the summer, lower the shutters to stay cool. Yep. So Which that's super secure. Bind down the hatches. <laughs> 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 Bunker. <laughs> yeah. 
More military touches happily coexist alongside more creative flourishes here, like the phone box drinks cabinet and their outdoor office with built-in bar. Oh, yes. Well, it's quite large, this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, I want one of these. <laughs> there aren't many things, there aren't many pieces of tech that I would like in my life, but a bar is one of them. Yep, absolutely. I'll have a pint of uh, speckled badger, please. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got it on tap. Wow! Yep, Glasses, well spirits. Craig did most of the electrics and fitted out this bar himself. How have you found that process, Craig, though, dipping your toe in this, in this world of design and architecture? It's been a phenomenal experience for me. I've really enjoyed it. Will you do more? Will you dip your toe further in? Do you think you might even one day self-build? Would you go that far, do you think? Yeah, I think I would. I've, I think this is a catalyst.